what is going on everyone yeah. this is wicked and hey. today i'm gonna show you um what are you doing with my camera i'm shooting a review <laughs> you remember is it working yeah about my brand new notebook on my channel let's yeah. see then <laughs> Looks this really brand nice. new Asus Vivo Book Pro 15 and 580VD and of course we're gonna be talking about the design, the display, the gaming performance, the cooling test and many many more so without further ado let's get let's started get right into it okay so let's start with the design of this beautiful laptop at first sight the color seems to be more kind of a more grayish one even though on their website it is stated as a gold one after a more in-depth look, we decided the color which would define it best is brushed gold. The entire body is made out of aluminum, although after more than one month of usage, it got scratched by the notebook bag zipper. So you have to take that in mind before considering buying this laptop. Regarding the connectivity area, this VivoBook Pro comes with a variety of ports. On the right side, it features a number of two USBs 2.0, the disappearing headphone jack, Apple, headphone jack, headphone jack apple, and an SDHC card reader. The laptop also gives you a visual representation of the power on and charging state by having two LEDs right next to the mentioned port. On the left side of it, there is one USB 3.1 Type-C port, an HDMI, an USB 3.0 port, and of course the well-known RG45 LAN port capable of speeds up to 1 gigabit per second. The Wi-Fi connectivity supports 802.11 AC dual band speeds, although there is a problem with the medium to low range connection of the wireless antenna. Speaking about the charging cable, there is a DC port on the same side. A more distinctive and minimalist design feature is the mirror-like ASUS logo on the back, which in my perspective defines the entire visual look. I will talk about the touchpad and keyboard look and feel later on in the gaming section because I feel like there are also important design features to be taken into consideration. Due to the lack of an optic drive, this entire laptop weighs only 1.99 kilograms. Moving on, speaking about the display of this laptop, this one comes with a beautiful 50.6 inches 1080p, which I have noticed to be very color accurate while processing images with other Photoshop and Lightroom. The Full HD LED backlit display is covered with an anti-glare coat which will make it more visible in broad daylight even though due to its sensitive design it is not recommended to be used in potentially harsh conditions. The only place where will you see plastic material on this notebook is on the screen bezels. Even though people who own the 4K variant of this model are complaining about the weak to mediocre battery life, with this 1080p display, the average battery life with minimum usage goes up to 5 hours. Battery life on gaming is not really worth discussing on heavy games because the GPU runs on low power, but on medium to intensive games it reaches a battery life score of 1.5 maybe 2 hours. The battery itself is a Li polymer with a number of 3 cells. The laptop also features fast charging with 60% battery life in 15 minutes of charging time. Even though this laptop is rated as a multimedia one, it features some impressive hardware beneath. The quad-core Intel Core i7-7700HQ CPU with a stock frequency of 2.8 GHz going up to 3.8 GHz in full load. The CPU alone can run multiple programs at the same time, without a miss, thanks to its enormous RAM capacity of 16 gigabytes. You may extend the capacity to a whopping 32 gigabytes by using the second slot which is also a plus of this beautiful laptop. Even though from the outside it looks so elegant and shiny, inside of it there is a completely different story having a soul of a beast. The Nvidia GeForce GTX 1050 with 4 gigabytes of VRAM. Storage wise, this laptop comes with a M2 SATA SSD 128 gigabytes and one terabyte HDD. Unfortunately, the HDD spins only at a speed of 5400 RPM, but you can replace it anytime along with the RAM and SSD. The games we tested were Abzu and the Forest. The thing is that on Forest, without the laptop being connected to the you know DC power, the game started to lag a lot 
it wasn't really smooth but on um, low settings it went pretty well from around 30 to 40 fps i believe the gpu was running in the power saving mode that time but after we connected the dc power everything went perfectly fine and she was able to play the first game at highest settings with more than 60 fps on the other hand abzu was perfectly running for about 40 to 50 fps without the laptop being connected to the wall plug Regarding the cooling part, there is a dual fan intelligent system with 8 speed modes which will try to keep the laptop really low on temperature with a minimum noise level. In full load though, the cooling system will get pretty low, taking in mind that it has to cool down the i7 and 1050 combo. I have placed the microphone right next to the cooling system for you to make an idea on how it sounds on full load. If you are passionate about cars like me, especially BMW models, you may have heard that their audio system is made by Harman Kardon. This Asus notebook also benefits of beautiful turn speakers by Harman Kardon, a feature which cannot be left unobserved due to the branding on right side under the keyboard. The speakers are placed under the laptop and will give you a rich sound of low, mids and heights. Personally, I'm really satisfied on how this audio system sounds like. Back to the design, let's talk about the keyboard and trackpad, especially the quality of them. The keyboard is a numeric clicket style keyboard with a little traveling distance which sounds like this. The keyboard is also LED illuminated showing a completely white color beneath. Unfortunately, the side enter key is missing which makes the programming on it a little bit difficult if you are used to press it with the little finger. This is the webcam and microphone test. Hope you like how it sounds. I think it is pretty good. I'd like to hear your opinion. Tell me in the comments. Okay, so to sum up, here are the pros and cons of this laptop. At a price value of around $1000, it isn't cheap by any means. For us, this notebook is some kind of a wolf camouflated under the skin of a sheep. It was mainly created for those people who prefer minimalism and elegance over all the Republic of Gamer skins we've all been seeing in the last couple of years in the gaming area. Intel Core i7 7th generation and Nvidia GTX 1050 is a great combo for day-to-day -day use multitasking and gaming at the same time, especially with the huge amount of 16GB of RAM storage. The display also receives a big plus for me, along with the keyboard and trackpad. The overall design is beautiful but pretty prone to scratches. Unfortunately, there are also some bad points for this unit. The first one is the most annoying one, the wireless antenna problem, restarting sometimes while trying to connect to Wi-Fi network. The second one and thankfully the last one is the RPM speed of the HDD. The last one can be replaced though and about the first one let's hope they will release a new driver for the Wi-Fi. Overall this N580VD is a great value for money, fast CPU, high-end GPU, big amount of RAM, great design, great keyboard, colorful display, acceptable battery life and why not great running temperatures. Anyways. This was Wicked showing you the review of the Asus VivaBook Pro 15 and 580 VD. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and activate the bell icon so that you'll be notified with all my latest uploads. Until next time, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Let's Get Wicked and on Google Plus at Wicked is here. Thank you for watching. As always, take care. Bye bye.